Hi, beautiful friends it's Amanda here and this is part two of my best of 2020 series part one was lip products that one's already up on my channel and of course I'll link it down in the description box for you the next video will be all of my top eyeshadow palettes from 2020 today's video is just sort of the catch-all everything else that's not lips and palettes will be mentioned in this video. It's mainly focused on face favorites, but there are a couple other little things that I wanted to make sure I mentioned that were by far my top favorites of 2020. So just a couple of things before we get started. First of all, there's no possible way that I could truly try, purchase, test, wear, everything that was released in 2020. So these are just my personal favorites from the things that I was able to try. And keep in mind, we all have different preferences, different skin types, different styles. So something that worked really, really well for you may not have been my favorite thing for one reason or another, and that's totally okay. The good news is there are literally thousands of different beauty products. So everybody is sure to find something that works for them. And if I dislike something that you love or we just don't have the same favorites, that's totally fine by me. I like that we all have different tastes, different styles, so just keep that in mind. I wanted to start this video off with a new category. I haven't really done this in my previous best of the year videos, but I wanted to talk about my favorite overall brand discovery. This is not a brand that was started in 2020. I found them in 2020. It's truly one of the most exciting brands for me. I have made many, many, many purchases from this brand this year. You constantly see me wearing this nail polish brand in almost every single one of my videos. I post about them all the time on Instagram. I truly can't tell you how much I love Triple O Polish. I placed my first order from Triple O Polish back in like late spring. Just picked up a couple of bottles, saw somebody mention them on Instagram, and I have become very addicted to cruising their website ever since. I have over 30 polishes from them now. This shade that I'm wearing on my nails in my Best of 2020 series is called Akaba. Of course, I love the formula of these polishes. I would not continually order polishes that didn't have a great formula, but the thing that I love the most about Triple O Polish is they have some of the most interesting and unique colors. They're not crazy expensive. This is an indie brand. It's really just run by one woman who is conceptualizing, producing, packing, bottling, everything herself. You can just tell she is pouring her heart and soul into her products. Everything is packaged beautifully. It ships quickly. The colors are so stunning. I can't even tell you. I have literally hundreds of nail polishes. If you had me pick a top three, probably two of the three would be from Triple O Polish. It's just crazy how good and interesting and yummy the Triple O polishes are. Can't recommend them enough. Definitely one of my top most favorite things that I used in 2020. Always check the description box on my videos because I'm pretty good about listing what nail polish I'm wearing. I wouldn't be surprised if more than half of my videos this year I was wearing a Triple O polish. I love them so much. I love them so much. I'll list some of my favorite shades in the description box for you if you're interested in my favorites to check out. I have not had a polish that I disliked from them, but I do have a couple of shade favorites. I can't remember the names off the top of my head, but please check out Triple O Polish. So good. So good. So good. Now let's talk about the best mascara of 2020. I've really been a drugstore mascara girl for so long. I do think some of the best mascaras in the entire beauty game are available from the drugstore. However, this year I had a high-end favorite rise to the top. I've repurchased a couple times now. I thought it was gonna be a gimmick, but it's actually just a really, really great mascara. This is the Legit Lashes Mascara from Huda Beauty. I thought it was gonna be gimmicky because it has a double-ended wand. One side is for curl and length and then one side for volume. Thought it was gonna be silly. 
actually really love it. I use it all the time. I think this is my third tube, third or fourth. I, I can't keep track. I don't know. I still love my drugstore mascaras, don't get me wrong. I've been rocking with this Huda Beauty mascara for a while now and it's definitely the best one that I've tried this year. Fun fact about me, I do not force things into my favorites. I don't have a favorite primer. I don't have a favorite powder. I don't have a favorite brow product. Nothing that came out this year took the place of previous favorites from years past. So since I don't have any, I'm not gonna pretend like I do. So let's just talk about foundation. I have two foundation type products. One is a tinted moisturizer. One is a foundation. I have done full reviews on both of these products with wear tests and super duper close-ups, very up close and personal with all the textures of this face. So I'll try not to talk too long about these. I pretty much didn't use anything else on my face besides concealer other than these two products pretty much all year long. The Tarte Maracuja Tinted Hydrator is one that I purchased a sample size of. I loved it so much that I immediately regretted not just going for the full size. So I did pick this bad boy up during one of the Sephora sales. I love this. This is what I'm wearing on my face today. Gives me just the right amount of coverage. It's a really great shade match. It feels fantastic. It feels like I have nothing on my skin. I've had a lot of good luck with Tarte Complexion products in particular, and this one is definitely no exception. Really enjoyed this. I've worn it a lot. No surprise here, this is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Foundation. I love this. I gave it a rave review. I can't believe that this actually came out in 2020. It feels like I've had it for longer. When I want some more coverage versus this Tarte product, I always reach for this ColourPop Pretty Fresh Foundation. It looks so healthy and so natural on my skin. I have very dry skin. I'm in my mid 30s, so I've got some texture, some fine lines, you know. So foundation hasn't really been awesome for me lately, but this one is awesome for me and I appreciate that. So those are my two foundation-y face base type favorites. Next, let's talk about concealer. I also have two concealer favorites. There are a lot of drugstore products in my favorites this year. The drugstore just really, really did well in 2020. One of my favorite products from the drugstore is the Hydrating Camo Concealer from e.l.f. Cosmetics. I don't like the original camo concealer. It was just too thick, too dry. It did not look cute on my skin, did not look cute on my under eyes. This looks very cute on my under eyes and that's what I like to see. This is what I want out of a concealer. I get just the right amount of coverage. This has been a really reliable product and a really affordable product. Good job, e.l.f. Good job. e.l.f. did really well this year. This is a much pricier option, but still great nonetheless. I've actually enjoyed mixing this. I really like to mix this one with my Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Concealer. This is the Revealer Concealer from Kosa's. It's really super creamy. It adds in some hydration. Now this product does darken a little bit. It dries a little bit darker. I do have the lightest shade that they make. So keep that in mind if you're interested in this product. You may wanna go a shade down because this does dry a little bit darker, but the finish of this is just so beautiful. I love a good creamy, moisturizing, yummy, fresh looking concealer. And that's what this one is. Now let's talk about cheek products. I have quite a few cheek color products, but only one bronzer. This is probably gonna be in a lot of people's favorites. This is the Bronzino bronzer from Tower 28. It's a cream bronzer. It has a lot of shimmer in it, but it doesn't look shimmery on the skin. I'm wearing it today. I feel like it just looks like a natural, healthy, dewy cheek moment, which that's really what I want out of life. This was a really, really hyped up product when it first launched. And to be honest with you, I wasn't that interested in it. I kept hearing people rave about it. A lot of my friends on Instagram really loved it and they kept telling me I needed to try it. So I finally caved and I'm so glad that I did because I love this bronzer. It's super easy to use. I just apply it with my finger, dab it on, blend it out and go. I don't have problems with this pulling up my makeup underneath. I don't have problems with wear time. I've been wearing this for a good like five hours at this point and I think it looks just as good now as it did when I applied it. It's really cute little packaging. 
if I was ever going to travel, <laughs> I would take this with me because it's so compact and so foolproof. I have a feeling a lot of people will also be including the Kosas bronzer, the baked one. I did try that. It was just okay for me, but I didn't feel like it was the holy grail favorite of the year type of status for me. It actually reminds me a lot of the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, which is a good thing because I love that bronzer, but I truly appreciated this one and used this one so much more, and I just feel like this is a really special product. Tower 28 is a brand that has my attention, so I'm excited to see what they do next. Next, let's talk about blush. I have four blushes and four highlighters. I don't have these ranked. They're not in any particular order. I'm just going to talk about them in the order that I pick them up. First up for blush is this one from Ofra Cosmetics. They did this in collaboration with Samantha March. The blush is called Chick Lit. And full disclosure, Samantha is my actual friend. <laughs> So I'm utterly and completely biased, but that doesn't change the fact that this is a really exceptional product. I love the split pan. One side's matte, one side's shimmery, so you can kind of customize your finish. I personally just swirl my brush around in there and mix them together because I do like a more shimmery finish on the cheeks but I just think these tones are so beautiful. I love that I can customize my color and my finish. I also really like the packaging, that like satisfying magnetic packaging. Just everything about this really works for me. I did try the entire collection. I reviewed the entire collection. This was by far my favorite piece and it's the one that I have continued to reach for over and over again since this collection launched back in the spring. Next is this one from MAC. This is the Glow Play blush in the shade So Natural. The Glow Play formula is one of my favorites from the year. It's a bouncy blush. It has sort of a putty texture. This is sort of like if a Super Shock shadow and a cream blush had a baby, it would be this. I love this formula. It looks so beautiful on the skin. I just apply this with my regular blush brush. I don't have any issues picking up this formula on just a regular brush, but you can also really easily apply this with your fingers too if you want a brighter, more intense color payoff. I like the packaging. I like the colors. I like the texture. I like the way this looks on me. I hope they don't discontinue these. Every time MAC comes out with something really good, they discontinue it. Case in point, Lip Tensity Lipsticks. Another incredible drugstore product. I can't believe that this blush is $2.99. This is the blush from Essence. The shade Bespoke is my favorite. This blush is stunning. The color is beautiful. The color payoff is great. The wear time is great. I am still shocked at how good this blush is. I know I've said this in at least a couple other videos. If you have access to the brand Essence, definitely get one of the blushes. This is just, this is so good. I think it's evident because all of my other favorites are high end. And then here's this $3 blush that's just as good as blushes that cost 10 times as much. I don't know how they do it, but I like it. If you watch my other videos, this will be no surprise. I love the cream blush from Fenty. I know that this is a teeny tiny little compact. I know that it's really expensive. It is worth every penny. This is the shade Rose Latte. I can't tell you how much I truly and deeply love this blush. I'm probably just repeating myself at this point, Love the packaging, I love the formula. This applies so easily. Something I really appreciate is a good no-brainer type of product. I just tap my finger in here, tap it on my cheeks and go. It really melts into the skin. It looks great for a long time. It works well as a base for a powder blush. If I put a little bit of this on and then wanna put a like a shimmery powder blush on top, plays well with others. I love that. I gave this blush a rave review when it first launched and my opinion has only grown fonder since then. I think a lot of us love highlighter and I'm going to start off with a truly stunning highlighter from the drugstore. 
This one comes from Milani. This is their baked highlighter in the shade Dolce Perla. The Milani baked formula is very beloved for a reason because it is so good. If you want a soft glow, that really ethereal lit from within type of glow, this this is it right here. This is what you're looking for. It just glides on like a dream. It's so stunning. I've reached for this quite a lot over the course of 2020 and I like my makeup every time I wear it. It's easy to apply. It's easy to layer. It looks good for hours and hours. Even, you know, when you're wearing your mask, you need a little, a little peekaboo highlight. Still glamorous under here. One of the best highlighters of the year. Obviously, that's why it's in this video. Highly recommend. I know they have some other shades too. This is just the one that works the best for my skin tone. Across the board, I recommend these baked highlighters. They're stunning. Kind of on the opposite end of the spectrum in every way is this Tarte Lit Chrome Paint Highlighter. This is definitely more expensive. It's definitely not subtle. This is a blinding, super metallic. If you want people to mistake you for a glazed donut or see you from space or whatever the other highlighter cliches we use are, this is, this is it right here. This is so intense. It's so pigmented. I don't know why they put it in a jar this big. It would take you a million lifetimes to use this up unless you wanted to highlight your body with it which sounds awesome, except I just wear sweatpants, so I'm not gonna do that. So if the last highlighter I talked about, that soft, subtle, angelic glow does not sound like your jam, this is probably the one you're looking for. This is bright, and it is really pretty. All right, two highlighters left. They are both from Kaleidos. I wanna talk about this one first. This is the Space Age highlighter in the shade Ray Rider. It's what I'm wearing on my cheeks today. This is sort of the happy medium between the last two highlighters that I talked about. It's definitely brighter and more intense than the Milani baked highlighter, but it's not quite as metallic and in your face as the Tarte one. This is really just that beautiful middle ground. This shade in particular works really well for my skin tone. It's a soft, icy champagne color. I'm always happy with the way that my makeup looks when I wear this one. It's got really cute packaging. Kaleidos is just such a consistently interesting and innovative brand. And that brings me to the other highlighter that I wanna talk about. Now, this is the Space Age Prophecy highlighter. In general, this isn't necessarily my favorite aesthetic wise but I have to say as far as interesting innovative products that really grab my attention this one is at the top of the list this year it is first of all I'm just gonna barely touch it I barely touched it can you see that that's from barely touching the powder this is an intensely pigmented multi-chrome highlighter. Like I said, that's not my usual aesthetic, but I can't deny the fact that this is an incredibly special, just gorgeous, interesting product. I love seeing things like this, and I truly appreciate Kaleidos for the things that they make along these lines. First of all, wow. I wish you could feel it. It feels like silk. And then when I kind of blend it out, which is more how I would wear it on my cheeks, you can see it just has this really multi-dimensional, fiery sort of glow to it. It's a little bit more glittery than I would usually do. It's a little bit more out there shade-wise than I would usually do, but I can't deny what a stunning and incredibly attractive product this is. I mean, the packaging is beautiful. Kaleidos, man, they really know what they're doing over there. They have a creative vision that keeps me interested in this beauty world where there's so much noise and there's so many constant releases. I think Kaleidos is a brand that has just stayed true to their vision. They've stayed innovating. I mean, hello, hello, hello. Beautiful. I love it. I love it. 
Now's the time when I want to hear what you think about the things I chose. Do we have any of the same favorites? Do you have any favorites of the year that I didn't mention? Maybe I just didn't get a chance to try them. I always love to hear your recommendations. I quite often shop based on your recommendations. So keep them coming. I always love to hear the things you're enjoying too. Make sure you check out my previous best of 2020 video to see my favorite lip products of the year. And keep an eye out for the final video in the series. That's gonna be the best of 2020 eyeshadow palettes. Might be giving away a few of my favorites of the year. You never know. You just have to stay tuned to find out. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. You can leave the angry comments to a minimum. I would appreciate that. What? That didn't make sense. The Tarte Maracuja Tinted Hydrator. Help. The car, car, tar. <sighs> zoom, 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 zoom it in. There are, they are, yeah. <laughs> what? Nailed it. So that's my favorite bronzer, ASMR. I did, sh I, sh uh, I love this blush. I love, I love this blush. I need a moment. All right, let's talk about highlighter. I love highlighter. <laughs> I think everybody does. Maybe not, I don't know. This is the Spate, Spate, Spate. What was I just saying? Wow. It's fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. Look how cute these little earrings are that my hubby got me for Christmas. They're like little geode slices. I think they're so cute. I think, pretty sure he got them from an Etsy shop. I'll try to find the shop name and um, link that for you guys. Because these are really cute. Oh, also another 2020 favorite, my Etsy shop that I started this year. That's right. You can go check that out if you wanted to. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you're into it. Go check it out. Okay. I would say I'm done being weird now, but we all know that's not true. So, yeah. I'm just gonna go. Thanks for watching. I love your face so much. You know what? You're one of my favorites of the year as well. You and that face of yours, because I love it. I love your face so much. Okay. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye.